Hey yo, what's poppin' guys? Welcome back to another brand new video on the TG channel. In today's video, we're gonna be going over seven top secrets that are gonna help you get rich on B Swim Simulator. These are seven of my favorite methods that I use to get rich on B Swim Simulator. Obviously, I'm not the richest player in the world, but I have got 1.4 billion honey right now, or nearly 1.4 billion honey. And the reason I am able to make honey so quick is from the following tips I'm going to give you. Now, before we get into this video, guys, I need a huge, huge, huge favor. If you are watching this video and you're not subscribed, you need to subscribe right now because about 92% of you guys aren't subscribed. And that is crazy. If you were all subscribed, I'd have so many subscribers and I would hit my dream goal of having 200,000 subscribers by the end of the year. So please, guys, please, please, please subscribe. Smash the heck out of the like button if you happen to enjoy this bang of a video. Smash the heck out of the like button right now. And also drop a comment down below. What did you eat for dinner tonight? What did you eat for dinner? And also your favorite secret or favorite tip that I gave you. And also drop a comment down below of your, what your favorite method is, whether I put it in this video or not. What's your favorite method that you use to make loads of honey and just get super, super rich on beef swim simulator? And the best comment I will give a shout out to in the next video all right so here's seven top secrets that you want to use to get rich in b swarm simulator okay so starting off first i'm gonna go from the ones at the bottom of my list and obviously down to the ones at the top of my list the one at the bottom of my list or, or the seven number seven is basically ant challenges ant challenges are super super useful this is what i use on a daily basis to help get super super rich and just get loads of new items as well uh, adding to my collection for if i'm going to craft stuff and challenges are just super super useful and easy to get super rich with obviously you go into the challenge you can get a free pass from here i'm actually going to use my free pass um or grab my free pass for in fact you get a free pass every two hours guys so you can do if you don't have tickets to spend uh which i'm pretty sure a lot of you should have tickets to spend but if you don't have tickets to spend i just accidentally i just accidentally bought a freaking amp pass my bad it's fine though i have 1500 tickets but if you don't have tickets to spend um come here every two hours grab yourself a free amp pass go into the ant challenge and try and get as high a score as you possibly can uh, i'm gonna do that in a second for you guys um just after we get through what i'm trying to explain and by the end of it you should make yourself a good few million honey grab some uh, you'll get some treats as well some fruits to give to your bees and might even get uh, i think in the high levels you might even get some rarer items so definitely make sure you guys are doing the ant challenges oh snap okay so i just <laughs> i just got a supreme amulet i literally just got the best amulet in in the game i'm pretty sure from the ant challenge and uh yeah this is exactly why you guys need to be doing the ant challenge every single day as many times as you possibly can per day even if you can just do it once every couple hours absolutely fine this is exactly why you need to do it so my old amulet had 91 percent conversion rate uh, the new one has 103% conversion rate. You can just see how good this new one is compared to the old one. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to... Uh, wait, I don't know if I had... I mean, apparently... Wait, maybe I did have one. Maybe I did have a Supreme one before. I didn't know I had... I didn't realize I had one before, but... This, the new conversion rate on this one is just insane. We've got 2.8 million honey, 60 sunflower seeds, 16 royal jellies, and obviously the amulet itself. We're going to hit replace and, yep, equip the new amulet. And that is exactly why you guys need to be doing and challenges every single day. Now, the next secret is going to seem a little bit, a little bit kind of, I don't know, a bit out there and a bit extra. But you guys definitely, definitely need to be doing this. Just harvesting through the leaves uh, in the fields or any fields you're in. Just making sure you're consciously or, or making the conscious effort to grind through those leaves that you see in the fields. Because they can give you some honey, they can give you some treats. And there's just a lot, a lot to be earned for doing that and if you're not doing that you're doing yourself a massive massive uh, disservice because there's it's just free loot it's literally free loot like there's no reason to not be doing it here there's more leaves right here i'm just gonna quickly run over to them harvest them and then get back to bombing the field like i was originally and honestly it doesn't even there's just no harm in doing it so this is something you guys definitely should be doing let me know down below in the comment section if you guys are already doing this uh, if this is something you guys are already doing, then good. If you're not doing it, let me know why and are you going to start doing it? Let me know down below in the comment section because I really, really want to know. Moving on to secret number five. Okay, so for secret number five, this one involves the Wind Shrine. If you guys haven't heard of the Wind Shrine, then you're probably living under a rock. And if you do uh, know what the Wind Shrine is, then good because you, you're probably using it. And if you aren't using it, I wonder why because you definitely need to be using the wind shrine what i'm gonna do right now is actually i'm gonna donate a few items to the wind shrine uh, i don't know if i've got anything super super rare so maybe 
I might just donate. Let's see. What if I just donate a magic bean, actually? Can I donate magic beans? I don't think you can actually donate magic beans. Oh, yes, you can. I'm going to donate three magic beans to the wind shrine and we're gonna hopefully get some boosts a sudden breeze sweeps the beans the magic beans into the sky when these buzz is heard in the distance cool so by activating the wind shrine guys we get to or we get a chance of a, a, of maybe spawning the windy bee which i'm pretty sure the windy bee has actually just been spawned um i'm gonna go and look for it in a second and obviously we get random loot and a chance of getting a boost now this time i didn't get myself a boost but if you donate rare items you have a chance of getting uh, field wind boosts and just boosts that can help you get in more pollen and in turn just making you richer quicker so make sure you guys are using the wind shrine all the time as much as you possibly can and if you're already doing that then great you're one step closer to getting super super rich in the bee swarm simulator now for secret number four this involves leveling up your bees guys i can't stress how important it is that you actually level up your bees i've got a bunch of level nines you can see i've got actually a few level eights as well but what i need Wow, 19,000 treats to level up this guy. Okay, I'm probably not going to do that. I'm actually going to do this off camera uh, and just spend the treats on the bees wisely. But the, the main point here is that you guys need to be leveling up your bees. The more strong your bees are, the more pollen you're going to be making even quicker. And the quicker you're going to be able to convert pollen to honey, the more honey you're going to be making. And it's just going to make your whole life on Bee Swim a lot easier and a lot richer. Another way to level up your bees super, super quick as well is by harvesting uh harvesting the sparkles at night time and using the moon charms that you get from the sparkles on your bees as soon as you get them just pop the moon charms onto, onto your bees level them up as fast as you can and yeah you've got stronger bees it's, it's literally super super simple i'm gonna buy a night bell real quick and i'm actually gonna see if i can demonstrate this if you guys don't know how to get loads of moon charms all you gotta do is wait for it to be night time when loads of fireflies are out uh, just follow the fireflies we should see them flying in any second now in fact i'm going to pop into this cannon real quick and just looking for the fireflies oh they're over there okay the fireflies are in the pineapple field so what we're going to do is we're going to run over to the fireflies run around in the circle grab their sparkles and we should get some moon charms in the middle as well and obviously at the same time as doing this guys you get loads of loads of loot from from the sparkles themselves so not just the moon charms at the end but you also get loads of treats and just potential loot uh, from the sparkles when you're when you're harvesting with with your with your tool. So make sure you guys are doing this. This is super super crucial, super super important, and it's going to help you get super rich way quicker. Now for number three, I can't stress how important this is, and how little uh, or, or how much this is neglected in Beast Swim Simulator. I don't think people do this enough, and this is the the memory match i don't think enough people are playing the memory match and even if enough people are playing the memory match i don't think they're playing the memory match enough you can do this uh, let's actually check a timer of one of these we're going to go to the most expensive one or at least one of the most expensive ones that is behind the spirit bear right here if you've got the extra honey to spend on this i know this was a video on how to get rich in the game but by rich i mean everything i mean tickets i mean treats i mean all, all of these all of these items in my imagery literally everything everything possible to, to get in be some similar that is what i mean by rich in this game so spend 25 million honey um to play extreme memory match and we're gonna have a chance at getting some extreme loot so what i'm gonna do is just randomly wow just like that i've got 25 royal jellies guys just just crazy okay there's another 25 royal jellies here somewhere oh my god just like that we've got 50 royal jellies wow uh we could have even got ourselves a star jelly but we wasn't wasn't that lucky but i mean a 25 million honey investment to get 50 royal jellies that is that is super super cheap that is way cheaper than 1 million uh that's like 500,000 per per royal jelly so that's insane that's exactly why you guys need to be playing the memory matches there's loads of memory matches you can actually do each memory match once uh for eight hours so you can run around the whole map doing every single memory match and then eight hours later you can do it again so you can do this maybe three times a day if you was to play for all of 24 hours but even if you wasn't going to play for the whole of 24 hours and just run around no life in this doing each memory match at least once every day is is enough to make your bank account or your be swim simulator imagery a little bit more richer all right now for secret number two a lot of you guys probably already know this but for those of you who don't there is a website be swim simulator fandom.com and you can go to slash wiki and then codes 
and there is a plethora of secret codes that you can use to give yourselves boosts in Bee Swarm Simulator to get a super, super, super crazy amount of honey in such a short time. And these are just, like, there's no reason for you to not be using these. So there's actually a few codes that are already on here right now. We've got Misito 100, 100T that I haven't already used, I haven't used yet. I don't think I've used Red Market and I'm pretty sure I haven't used Cubbly, but I'll try these out in a second off camera uh, when I'm actually ready to grind with these. And I will let you guys know in the next video or something or in the next live stream or something. But you guys need to make sure you're using all the secret codes in Beast Hunter Mayor. I can't stress this method enough. It's one of the most uh, insane ways to make honey super, super quick. And you also get random items as well. So obviously in this code, the most recent code, only has released Masito 100T. Uh, coconut field boost times 2, coconut field capacity times 2, 3 stingers, gumdrops 5, coconuts 10, and inspire 5. So you've got... Some, some rare items in here. We've got 10 coconuts and we've got three stingers. These items are quite hard to obtain, but yet we're giving them for free in these secret codes. So again, make sure you guys are browsing the code, the code wiki and finding some secret codes that haven't been used before. Uh, that's exactly how I just found that recent code. I didn't even know this code existed, but we've both found this out together. We've all found this out together just by me deciding to go on the code wiki uh, page and, and checking out for you guys. Last but not least, I want to talk about bossing. Bossing is my most important secret in this video and I can't stress enough how important bossing is. Look at how crazy this loot is, guys. I'm actually going to run around this circle, grab all of the loot. Um, so we've got one red extract, 10 uh, gumdrops, 5 tickets, a magic bean, a blue extract, oil, 3 royal jellies, and 25 moon charms. Remember how important I said the moon charms were, guys, for leveling up? Or if you want to use them for crafting, fair enough. But either way, it's just, bosses is just a crazy way to increase your inventory and just getting super, super richer just by doing these bosses once, once a day. I don't think you can do the king beetle more than once a day, so it kind of sucks. Um, same for the tunnel bear, I don't think these are more than once a day, I think the tunnel bear might even be once every two days, but making sure you guys are doing all of these bosses will ensure that you get super super rich way quicker and will ensure that you're staying on top of the game and staying way way richer than all of your friends who are also playing Bee Swarm Simulator. There's a couple bosses that are super important, I'm going to list them in a second, so that's the King Beetle boss, that's the tunnel bear boss that we're doing right now, that's the Mondo Chick, uh, which is in the level 25 B zone I'm pretty sure. And uh, make sure you're doing the werewolf. The werewolf isn't actually a boss in itself, but make sure you're doing the werewolf. And for the most part, just killing everything that you possibly can in the game. Everything that can die in this game or drops loot. So yeah, look, look how insane, look how insane the tunnel bear loot is. Crazy. Yeah, literally anything you can kill in this game drops loot. So not just the bosses. Make sure you're going around doing like mob, mob circuits and I guess mob rotations and killing everything that you can find in Beast Hunter Simulator because. Everything will make you rich, literally. Uh, thank you guys for watching this video. If this video has been useful to you guys, don't forget to smash the heck out of the like button, subscribe, touch notifications on. Do not miss out on any of my content, guys. Like I said, 92% of you guys aren't subscribed, which is insane to me. Please, man, please just hit the subscribe button. Please just destroy the heck out of the like button if you guys have enjoyed this video. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for another brand new episode on the channel. Oh, and I, I, can't, I can't stress this enough. Guys, if you are gonna be buying Robux to spend on any game, um, please don't forget to use star code that guy when buying robux on robux.com because it really really does help support me and if you can send me proof of you, you using my star code to buy robux I will shout you out in the next video or when I can just send me send me proof on discord and I'll do that for you guys thank you for watching I'll see you guys tomorrow for another brand new episode on the channel